One big thing as we're doing this, the purpose of us creating multiple business managers and ad accounts from day one is that if one of your ad accounts is to get disabled or if they are to block or ban or put one of your ad accounts under review, you're not able to then go and create these. So what you wanna do is you wanna create them first up front so that you can move from one to the next if that happens, right? So if they, if they shut down one ad account, that doesn't mean that all of your ad accounts are shut down. It just means that that one is shut down and you can then move and start running ads on a different ad account that you've already created. So first things first, in order to do that, you go up here to the top right and click this little down arrow again. And what you're gonna do, or I'm sorry, actually you're gonna go up into your browser and you're gonna type in business.facebook.com slash create. Business.facebook.com slash create. And you're gonna have a little blue button up here that says create account. All right, so it says your business name. So I'm gonna type in Lisa, just using this as an example. If it was me, I would type in whatever your business name is or your first and last name there and click continue. And under my name, I'm gonna say Lisa Johnson. <laughs> I'm just making this up. Um, and there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna click finish. So this creates what's called a business manager. So this is just a back office where you can see all things your business, your ad account, your page, people, all that stuff. But some people, what they'll do is they will add their page to this. I typically tell people, just don't add your page to the business manager because then if one of your business managers gets uh, flagged or whatever, then your page is tied to that then you have to go create a new page and yada yada. So I just usually don't even do that because you don't need to. The first thing you wanna do is create an ad account. So you're gonna click add ad account and then you're gonna click create ad account over here. And then I usually just name it one. I just put the number one or whatever you're gonna be advertising. But I just make it number one and it keeps it simple in my mind. So, uh, and then I'll click create ad account and what it's gonna do is it's gonna say, Do I wanna add extra people? When this pops up, just click skip. You do not need to add extra people and then you will click on close. So that's that. Now you have your first ad account in your business manager. So that's one that you've created. Now Facebook will allow you to have a bunch of these in here, but when you're first getting started, you can only have one ad account in the business manager. Now we're gonna go create our second business manager. So Facebook allows you two different business managers in your personal profile. So you're gonna type in business.facebook.com and this time you're gonna to go to slash overview, business.facebook.com slash overview. All right, so here we are, you're gonna click create account and your business name, I'm gonna say Lisa2 and Lisa Johnson. And then for your business email, just use a different email. Maybe that's your business email this time. Okay, so a different email there. And again, you just put in your name. And then I'll click finish and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna click add ad account. We're gonna click create ad account. I'm gonna name this two. So I'm gonna have two ad accounts, number one and number two. And I actually do have a third ad account I'm gonna click skip on this. I do have a third ad account, which is my personal ad account as well. So now that I've created two business managers with two different ad accounts, if I click up here in this bar, it's gonna say my personal ad account, Lisa and Lisa number two. So typically when I tell people, it doesn't really matter exactly where you're running these ads from, but just run them from the same one each time. So. I'm gonna select the first business manager and then I'm gonna click on ad account one. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up what's called ads manager. And this is where you need to get to in order to actually run ads on Facebook. 